M0 FXB. Plugged a speaker into this. It's a budget device. You virtually just touch the side button and it transmits. Not sure why there's a whistle on that frequency. I've took the buttons off, it's easier. So 15, 20, 40 it says there. It's 5 megs. 80. Well that's good, it's got 80 on there. Not sure if it'll work. 10 meters. CW decode. So it covers more meters that, sorry, more frequencies than are shown. I'll have to check it tomorrow. I've got a lot of LED lights on in this room. There's your little PTT. See that is quite sticky. So I wonder if we can doctor the, the, the firmware. I'd like to see what the hardware is like as well. It looks easy to open. Just a few four bolts is it? We'll have a quick look. So four bolts off the side. These things came off quite easily. And then we've taken the, just two off at the moment there, but it does seem to lift out now. There isn't anything under there, so they could have put a much, you know, a larger speaker in there, no problem at all. So let's just lift it out, put it the right way round, and then we'll lift it out, like so. So yeah, why they didn't make use of that room, but anyway, so there we are on this side. That's your PTT, so I think the reason it's probably catching, I would say, is that it, this, the sides, when you screw them on, you just need to just make sure that the hole for the PTT, uh, you know, doesn't catch there. It's just more wiggling the, the end panels. Like so. examining so there's your on off uh, so it wouldn't actually be that hard to add a battery so maybe that space was intended for maybe a battery it looks like to lift this out is just one two three four bolts there because these are not bolted on the outside so I think we'll just whip them off and have a quick look they're not tight and you can sort of hold on to them with a, with a mini spanner on the inside there. So that's, it's not hard to dismantle. So the screws are off. Now will it lift off or not? Now the whole thing's starting to lift off even without those bolts. Hmm. So there's our pathetic little speaker, but you can see how it doesn't actually have to be a pathetic little speaker. The screen, obviously, it's damaged here. Pretty sure you can just buy those screens. Yeah, it's just your standard screen. So here's your volume there. Push buttons and, and then encoder with push, which is metal. That looks plastic. Oh, that is plastic. So, you tell me, have a good look. What do you think of the components that have been used? 
There's a lot of these boards, you know, being produced now. Yeah, the screen, I think they're about £20 at the most. There you go. That's your PA showing you it. I'm not too confident about it, to be honest. But not based on the components, because I... My knowledge is rubbish on that. It does say 40, 20 and 15 there. Even though we were able to select 80. There's no battery. And is there any connectors for a battery? There's a connector for a speaker. Which isn't really a speaker, is it? Come on. That's not even a speaker. So, yeah, not impressed, to be honest. And they're selling these for around £100. No battery. Rubbish speaker. It, you know, it, it does actually... I don't want to short anything out doing this. Double click like a lot of them. LSB, we're on. I mean, it's going to be a tinny speaker because it, because it is a tinny speaker. So I don't. I think the audio coming out is okay. Let me plug in my external speaker, and it's definitely receiving. The speakers in. And even though I've got my LEDs on, it, it isn't wiping it out. Normally, it will wipe it out. So that's that's a plus. M zero FXB QRP. I need to turn off this LED. LED off, improved a bit. So, I think it's a neat little package. If they put a in the gap that was in the in the outer case that we saw. Okay, in the gap that we had, they should put in a better speaker and a battery. And then I feel like it's a goer. Let's try the noise reduction. Wrong one. Oh, you can turn the quad on and off. That means they might have put the G8 firmware on here. G W A R I D. I think they have. Or no politics. I think this firmware is the G8 one. Let's turn it back on. Oh, but it, no, it's not though, because look, when you turn it on, it's the 1.0 WA, which is definitely not GWA. 
So in this firm where they've added the quad, removing the quad. There's someone there on 20. Not the best antenna for that. I think that's enough for now. 7-3. Add to the end of this video, you've got a connector there for an LED as well. It says here type C, so you've got the possibility of adding type C. It says here battery as well, just here. So it's almost like it's not a finished product. I think it's got potential. Um, LCD 1602. Yeah, I'm going to see how much they cost actually. Yeah, they got a blue one for a fiver, so I'm going to grab one. So what I might do is grab the LCD. That'll make it look nicer. I need to work out with the, at least with the, where it says battery, is that for a 3.7 volt? Someone tell me. So I've got a few of them lying around. Or should it, or should the input be 12? Someone please tell me and we'll take it from there. Bye for now.